Okay, here's a lesson on plugs and fuses. Um, so if you please just start off by dating your work there so we know when the work was done. Just to give you an idea of where this fits in with the scheme of the work. We've done, this is the second lesson in what I would call electricity two. We started off looking at AC and DC last lesson and we're gonna move through this in this course. So, um, first off, previous knowledge, have a go at this starter please. Um, once we've gone through the objectives, I will know the names of a wire and a plug. I will know in which wire there is an alternating current and I will know the purpose of a fuse. So have a go at the starter, click pause. Okay, so what's the circuit symbol for a fuse? There it is, there's a fuse, that's what they look like. Um, it's like a resistor with a straight wire through it. So careful, you can't draw resistors and just leave the line through it because then that'll be a fuse. What was the frequency of AC mains? Well, we did that last lesson. It's 50 hertz. That means it, the electrons change direction 50 times per second. And the potential difference in the UK is 230 volts. So well done if you got those. Okay. So here's a diagram of a fuse. If you take the back of it, I'm sure you've all seen one. I'll show you a little video of me doing this a little bit later. But let's just get into the naming parts. So really key part here is this is the live wire. That's the one that you really, really don't want to touch. Now you shouldn't really be touching any of these wires when they're exposed. Uh, the electricity comes into the wire uh, through this pin here. And it actually comes through a fuse. We'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. Um, the other wire, uh, I suppose the main, other main wire that you'll need to get your plug to work is this blue one, that is the neutral wire. That's really, you can think of the electricity flowing through and then back out through. You, you need to make a full circuit, don't you, to make an electrical circuit. Um, so that's the neutral wire. Uh, and then we have what we generally refer to as the safety wire, but it's called the earth wire. It's normally colored yellow and green, yellow and green. So they're all the electric electricity components of the wire. What else do we have here? We have our cable grip, which holds the wire nice and tight and firm. And we also have some outer insulation. So all of these wires are insulated. You, wouldn't, you can't see any bare metal there. You shouldn't see any bare metal, but underneath that pin, you should see the bare metal. And then we've got out, outer insulation there. So, Let's move forward. Well, fundamentally, let's try and explain what's going on in a in a plug and how it works, how it works with a fuse. Well, you can really think of these wires. This is this wire is really connected up to the power station through the plug. And what we've got is an alternating current coming in here. The alternating current is really just pushing electrons or maybe pulling electrons through here. To make a full circuit, though, we're going to need our earth wire so you can think of this as really this is a full circuit going in and inside of here we do have a heating element but it could be powering whatever you really want going on inside some electrical components could be a television could be any sort of electrical device and the electrons come in and then leave and come in because it's alternating remember we looked at that it doesn't really matter that they're alternating they can still transfer energy just as effectively but this is really, the live is called the live because it's the one that's connected to the power station. The, the neutral is really just a, a reciprocal for receiving or donating um, any electrons required to make a complete circuit. Let's just run through then one of the names you can have, get these down in your book, a live wire. Got an alternating potential difference and it drives the electrons or current through a device at 230 volts. The neutral. This provides a pathway to flow for the current to complete a circuit. It's at zero volts ideally, though you still wouldn't really want to touch it. The earth, we'll come to that a little bit in more detail about why it's important. It's an additional safety wire, zero volts again. Fuse. Well, we didn't talk too much about the fuse. What does the fuse do? The fuse is in the is in the live wire, 
And if the current gets too high for whatever reason, might be because the device is malfunctioning and taking up too much current, then we know that current's heat wise and the fuse is designed to melt a particular current. So a fuse is a safety device that melts if the current gets too high. Last one, cable grip. Well, just physically to keep the physical integrity of the plug safe so that when if someone pulls on the cable without the, doing the right thing and try to yank a plug out by pulling on it the cable bit will just hold the wires down to stop it because obviously if they they get pulled out from the pins where the bare wires have been screwed in you get something called a short circuit and that would be a bit of a fire hazard hi so here i am just uh, going to undo this plug here show you it is this is plug is connected to my my toaster so let's have a look here. I'll undo this plug. And what can we see? It's a 13 amp plug, fuse plug. Here's my cable grip holding that in there. Uh, and fundamentally, let me just maybe take one of these out so you can see what's below here. Um, I'll take that out here. And there we have the top of the earth wire. So I'm just maybe just going to pull that out. But in effect, what we've got here, this would still work now because the earth wire actually doesn't actually help the electricity run. It's a safety wire. So really, fundamentally, electricity is going to come in here, go through the fuse, go through the live wire, and then it fundamentally just goes all the way into the toaster. It runs through the toaster. In this case, the toaster is just using it for generally for heating. And then it'll come back through the blue and then it'll go back to make a full circuit in effect back all the way back to the power station this one was actually connected quite well you've got the uh nice little just little cap at the end there which is the i so wanted to put that back in and so once you put that back in there really shouldn't be any bare wires attached shown at all if you can see no bare wires you can also see a nice tight connection. So if anyone comes and pulls hard on here, they're not going to pull these wires out and loosen these wires. One big danger if you have loose connections here is if this this blue this blue is can ever makes connection with the ground directly without having gone through the toaster. That would be an example of a short circuit. That's when the fuse might come in handy because in effect you get a very high current and you would get a uh, like a fire hazard or a big sh a big spark happening there so there you go that's a plug i'll put that back together now